There's some films that I, I kind of love, uh, James Cadney films. I'm out and take it, you dirty yellow-bellied rat, I'll give it to you through the door. When you see this little man standing up on his toes. Into this atmosphere walks the most ruthless character you have ever seen on the screen. A killer returning to the slums that nurtured him and to the man who, strangely enough, had been his boyhood comrade. Like in Angels with Dirty Faces, you know. You don't never know at the end of that film whether he actually becomes a coward or if you've done it for the right reasons, you know? And you don't need the answer because you're talking about it now, now 60 years later or whenever it is. Maybe you found someone you like better. And that's the magic of great films, I think. Great films are things that don't give you an answer. It was a crime so violent. You think I killed my wife? Prove it. A murder so well planned. You want people to say, geez, you think he could have done that to his own wife? That it may change as many lives. You're under arrest for the murders of Paige Forrester and Consuela Martinez. As it claims. Jagged Edge. All the way through it, you're going to see my lights. Uh, no, it's not. It's her. They're, they're great films. They don't necessarily give you an answer, but they let you debate about them and talk about them. Not every film can be like that. I understand that, but... They're the films I kind of like. A guy like you, you never know. I like films like Beckett, you know, with Peter O'Toole and Richard Burton. I mean, you're watching two fantastic, brilliant actors. I would have gone to war with all England's might behind me and even against England's interest to defend you, Thomas. I would have given away my life laughingly for you. And there's this, you know, the, the look on Burton's face, but also Peter Roll too had that as well. I mean, that kind of strength and manic power, and then, but also had this kind of little boy lost look, you know, with his eyes. Anthony Hopkins has got that, you know. Burton had that. Albert Finney's got that. You haven't bought any license to kill bookies, and today I ain't selling any. So take your flunky and dangle. Some people just, Want to play the tough guy all the time? I don't. I like making the tough guy a little bit weak.